Hello everybody, Minister I'm here. Welcome back to the Horse Lord Mega Campaign in Stellaris. In the last episode, we were able to retake most of the territory that was occupied by the Prime Actuators. We actually gained a couple of systems out of that, which I wasn't really expecting, but you know what? I'll take them. We're down to just one system that needs to be reconquered. Problem is, is that it is being held by a basically an uninhabitable asteroid and um i can't land any troops on it i'm not sure that the ixidar star collective can land any troops on that or the petitions or anybody else so i am dispatching the overlord to deal with the situation so, that should hopefully be relatively soon. That should take care of the problem and eliminate the Prime Actuators completely. And then we'll be done with that. And yeah, we're continuing our explorations over here. We've explored the Helios system, which appears to be a mirror copy of the Soul system. Interesting. There's this we haven't been to yet. We got over to this system here which is our new point of interest system um we're extracting or ex excavating this archaeological site so we'll see how that goes with the rubicator see what comes of that we're about to colonize the ring world on the penrose sphere we're about to finish the other segment and then we'll send the colony ship over there not sure if or you know if they're gonna grow at all but you know we'll send the colony ship over there once that's done we're gonna have to probably start building a new or another um crystal and megabore we're probably gonna do that in the ross 154 system here on that molten world get that going we're also gonna need a suck at some point relatively soon um and it's either the the new crystal megabore is going to finish first or the repaired yggdrasil orchid complex will get finished first when either one of those is done we're going to build a suck um which is the uh and with a massive apparatus built around a gas giant to strip minus atmosphere for resources it gets us energy credits it gets us vault emotes and exotic gases we don't really need the exotic gases but we do need the vault emotes so we'll have to work on that we might have to build a couple of those in fact we might have to build a couple more crystal megabores so um that may be occupying us for a little bit but we gotta wait for the current projects to finish first so it is what it is we'll just deal with it until then um, still working on the upgrades, bought a whole bunch of sentient metal on the market. So we should be nearing completion on some of these upgrades. So we'll see how it goes. Let's go ahead and fire things up, get them moving. I said fire things up and get them moving. All right. Now, this army, I think what we're gonna start doing is we're gonna start moving fleets and armies into position for the next project. And I think the next project is gonna be down here. Commonwealth of Shar, Valdari Citizen Commonwealth, um, they are fighting a machine ships have been made superior. empire. We just finished a couple of upgrades. Third fleet needs a few more. That should run through really quick. Our ships have been made superior. We are going to have to do another round of pretty heavy upgrades Anomaly at some point found. here. Uh, Sorrel system. No, leave it be for now. 
That's I think this is this reality code thing. Our stock is replenished. Would you trade for quasi negative mass? We have established a new planetary base. I don't think we have enough quasi negative mass and stockpile to do any of these things. The Galatron. It is a relic that gives us influence and diplomatic weight. Extra dimensional warlock. The psionic energies of this captured extra dimensional maintain the dimensional portal between their realm and our own. But the portal was destroyed. Now our prisoner, the creature, has been compelled to use its power to increase the sublight speed of our ships. As well as the range of our jump drives. Interesting. Isolated Contingency Core. These are all like relics. Pop Assembly Speed. Active Effect Mega Structure Build Speed plus 300% for 10 years. We need 80,000 quasi negative mass for that. Um. Scientific breakthrough achieved. We don't have anywhere even close to that. All right. But if I were to go for one, that is what I would go for. Because good grief, we could we could use these mega structures to build a lot faster. All right. Now, what I was talking about. Next project. I think the third, the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth fleets are going to start moving in the direction of the Valdari Citizen Commonwealth. They are a beneficiary, so they are a puppet. What I might actually do, Valdari Corporate Alliance. Interesting. Zero zero one fabricators. Occupy that. What I might actually do is I might actually declare war. on the zero zero one fabricators just to wipe them out and get rid of them so that I can then deal with these guys so you are a subject so what we would want to do is vassalize the Valdari and then that would bring the entire chunk of the galaxy under my control so that would be perfect all right so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna send the first fleet the call system our ships have been made superior we're gonna send the second the fleet of a new world has begun in this direction third fleet I'm just gonna start Parking fleets, 001 fabricators are here. Um, send them to that system. Ah. End of the year, or start of a new year. Auto save, I think, is what caused this to take a long time. One third fleet. Registered. There we go. Fourth fleet. Come down here. Fifth fleet. Come down here.
All right, and then... You guys need two new... I'm going to send you back to the Volkiel system. The other transport fleets um, are going to head down into this area to begin preparing. I think we'll send them into the Kumar system. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, we got a an advancement there. Energy weapon damage, I think it was. Energy weapon attack speed. There we go. Now, what else do we have as far as ships? The eighth fleet and the ninth fleet are done upgrading. Oh, we also have this. All right, the Empress Motel. At the very center of the city, overlooking the main square, is a grand, ostensibly decorated palace with a garish neon sign advertising the Empress Motel. Inside are lavish chambers filled to the brim with treasure from which the Empress and her horde or board of trusted advisors govern. It is also where the hoarders held their last stand, defending their Empress and their precious rubricator. With any luck, the Rubricator can still be found in its usual spot by the Empress's Lilac Ribbon. Curious. Alright. Ninth Fleet and the Eighth Fleet. Sixth Fleet is upgrading. Seventh Fleet is upgrading. Might be a good idea to keep these guys home. Eighth Fleet's parked there. Let's send it to the Screeching Abyss system. Ninth Fleet is in the Ross 154 system. What I might start doing is... Um, staying in the Ninth Fleet to deal with these space amoebas. Zarklands, Pilgrim, and the Prothoran Brood can stay home. Because they're going to be kind of home defense for the time being. Oh, there's a second fleet almost in position already. Accelerated evolution. After several months of living on Bernardo Prime, the colonists noticed something odd about the surrounding environment. Species seem to drastically change from one month to the next. On the order of the colony's administration, a quick study was performed. It revealed that native flora and fauna possess incredibly fast evolutionary processes. It appears that all species on this world share shorter than average life cycles, along with rapid sexual and asexual reproduction, which means that their evolutionary cycle is significantly faster than normal. As a result, the natural environment of this planet is in, a, is in a constant state of flux. On the other hand, the repeatedly adapting local biosphere prevents the colonists from ever truly fitting in. Nothing with an ordinary evolutionary cycle could. On the other hand, on the other, studying the constant evolution and rapid breeding of the local animals could lead to advancements in farming and evolutionary science. Either way, the biosphere of a planet it's too complicated to change on this sort of scale. The colonists are saddled with this, for good or ill. Habitability down with food from jobs and society research from jobs are up. That's fine. They're supposedly growing. We'll see.
Is in their factory ship over here. Complete. It arrived relatively soon. The Moyge Huxkin Swarm has insulted us. Oh. Good luck with that. Are we actually building up sentient metal? Scientific breakthrough achieved. Megastructure build speed plus 5%. There we go. We could do synthetics. Synthetic workers. That may be an option. But it's a dangerous tech. The problem is we are also... Spiritualist. That is what I was looking for. And I don't even know if it will let us build sentient robotic pops. System survey complete. Alright, Sorel system has been surveyed. We can use our influence to gain control of that. And then... Go ahead and... Oh, I would have thought that there was an anomaly there. I guess there isn't. I thought for sure there was. Oh well. Oh, actually, I don't think we want them in the Screeching Abyss. Never mind. You head back to that system. Well, if there's nothing to analyze here. All right, a chunk of the ring world around AGM Singularity has been constructed. All right, so the other segment of the ring world is finished. All right, that means we can colonize it. Let's send some humans over there. means we can get that crystal megabore going all right you head to the uh what is this ross 154 system begin building the crystal megabore where is it all right Get to it. All right. And speaking of, you're done. So you come over here and build some mining stations and build some research stations. That will get me some crystals and some exotic gases, which is good. You are going to need to do the experimental subspace navigation. Get back to the Screeching Abyss. Yeah, you need to get out of the system. So I can fire this thing back up. I don't think they can be jumped, but, you know, it's fine. We'll send them out. Okay. Let's activate. Send you to a new cohesive star. Not for sure. Hmm. 
that we would have had something go on over here for the reality code, but I guess not. Oh well, we'll just have to keep looking. No, we're still not building up the sentient metal yet. Uh, we should be able to buy in another batch. Buy in another batch. Sixth fleet has said 55%. Seventh fleet is at 38%. Mega shipyard is upgrading a bunch. Uh, first contact with the Zadrin Forerunners. These are another fallen empire. Humans, how delightful. We hadn't expected to encounter you for a few centuries yet. Oh, it's been a little while. Um, personally, I thought you would wipe yourselves out long before leaving your gravity well. We almost did. Um, but I am glad to be proven wrong. All right, well, this meeting is surely a blessing. We'll go with the spiritualist response. All right, we've got another unexplored system. All right, go ahead and begin surveying. Any other science vessels that are free? No, you are still working on that, and that's not done yet. Probably almost done, though. As far as the Overlord... It is charging the weapon. This thing breaks planets. Uh, an asteroid shouldn't give it any trouble. All right. Learn, unlearn, and relearn. Leader experience gain increased by plus 33%. Sounds good. Overlord is charging. Second fleet is in position. Need to find some more attack moves. Battle is joined. Ah, these are the uh, space amoebas. Done. All right, head over there and deal with those. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, synthetic workers. Uh, we could start getting, getting Elgate insights. Defense platforms, battleship build speed, defense army health. You know, I want to grab that Elgate insight because it's only going to take two months. We can start working on getting the L gate unlocked, which is in the AGM Singularity system. That is a lot of planets. There is a broken planet here. That has a gas giant as a moon? 
That doesn't seem like it would be a thing. There's another broken planet over here. Interesting. Ah, this is the planet that we acquired. Yes. Oh, you have problems. You have some big problems. Okay. We need housing. We need amenities. Uh, let's see. You have two sentient metal foundries. Well, how about that? That's useful. Go ahead and upgrade both of those. We're going to need workers. All right. Dust caverns, bubbling swamps. Oh, well this. Give me some crystal mines. In fact, let's get that built first. Moat harvesting traps. Get that built, actually, first. Gas extraction wells. That's not that important, but we want one anyway. Uh, we're probably going to need a luxury residence and a hollow theater at the very least. All right. Well, we got some pro uh, work to do there. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this commercial zone with a robot assembly plant. And then we'll see what we can do. I is being colonized. The Penrose segment A is being colonized. We should have another colony ship going to B. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Edict duration increased. Uh, let's see. Naval capacity. All right. Elgate Insight. Uh, ergonomic architecture. Max, max districts plus two. We'll grab that one. We need four more Elgate Insights in order to begin to open the Elgate. How much does a quasi-negative mass actually cost? Can I even buy it? It doesn't appear that I can. Ah, there it goes. It's a transport ship. All right, Admiral Monarch Toros has learned how to deploy units to maximize their sensor range. Got the scout trait, all right. Now, that should be the end of the Prime Actuators.
because they they are assaulting our spaceport good no longer have any planets I'm just making sure Well, we'll send the offer for status quo because they're done. All right, well, we're done there. Okay, so let's begin moving the Overlord down here because we might need it. All right, second, fourth, and fifth fleets are in position. We're waiting for the first and third to get into position. The armies are probably still moving. All right, you are in position. You just need a couple of... A couple of new assault armies. You've gained administrative control of Reinhardt, formerly holding the Prime Actuators, as we control the Starbase in the Reinhardt system. I thought we already controlled that system. And there was something goofy going on there. Yes, now I remember. It was acting like the star itself was occupied. And we destroyed the Prime Actuators. Okay, so they're finally gone. All right, good. All right, and so, and actually, it's looking like the Valdari are actually finally starting to do something here. Potentially. They're bombing this planet. I mean, they should be able to just land their armies. Just, just land your armies. Hundred percent devastated, and there's no art, and there's no defense. So you could just you could just land and take it, you know. Scientific breakthrough achieved. All right, well, whatever. Andrew, have an attack speed. We'll take the shield hit points. All right, but I think we are at the end of the episode, so. We will stop here for today. And we'll see what we're going to get up to here. If uh, they're actually going to do something over here or not. Problem is, they have their borders closed. So, even if I were to declare war on those 001 fabricators, I couldn't do anything about it. All right, well, yeah, we're going to go ahead and stop here, and then we'll just kind of see what happens. So for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.